In this video, I'm gonna show you how to redirect pages and posts in your WordPress website in case something's broken, 404s, or you just wanna move something. Really handy trick. Get ready, let's jump right in. In this video, we're going to look at how to redirect a page or a post for your website on WordPress. It's actually pretty straightforward. There's two different ways you can do it. One is the easy way with a plugin, or if you want to get more technical and really do it the right way, you can use what's called the HT access file, which is a little bit more technical. So you've got two choices here. I'm going to show you both. You decide which one you want to use. The first one we're looking at here is the plugin version. I use a plugin called Redirection. So you just go to Add New Plugin in WordPress and search for Redirection, and it should come up here as the first one with the picture of a flower, I think that is. So you just add that and activate it like you would with any normal plugin. And then you get a settings menu uh, under tools, so go to tools on the left hand side of WordPress and then scroll down to redirection. And then in there you'll have a list of pages that you've already redirected if you've added this plugin before, which obviously you won't have and I haven't used the plugin on this website, it's brand new. So the first thing you actually need to do is make sure you have a group. So if you don't have a group, make sure you go into groups and create a new group. Otherwise, you won't be able to create a redirection. So I already have two in here. So it looks like I have used this before on this website. I'd forgotten about that. So just go in and add a new group down the bottom here. So new group and then add that in. And then that'll give you a choice in the other redirects tab on the top here. When you create a new redirect, you can then choose your group because if you don't have a group, it won't let you save. So let's choose the new group and pick the URL. And you can either do partial URLs or full URLs. I recommend if you don't really know what you're doing that you pick full URLs. So let's go to a page that we want to redirect. Just copy the URL from the top into the field here. That's where it used to be. And then you copy in the new address here in this field here. So you need to know where you're redirecting from and to. So it's the source and the target. Now generally you're redirecting because you've moved something. So you've deleted a post, you've changed its URL, or you're trying to get traffic to go from one place to another because you don't want it to go there anymore. There's a bunch of reasons why you want to do this. Something is broken, etc. So you need to know where you're trying to get traffic to go from, so the old location, the one that's disappeared or broken or whatever, and you also then need to know where you want the traffic to go now, and that's the target URL, so that'll be the new location. So the old, dead, broken location, the new location. And then you just click Add Redirection, and then you'll see it on the top here. It'll just show you the partial URL, which as I said, you can also use. You can just skip the first part of your website, but don't do that unless you know what you're doing because you'll end up breaking things. Um, so now this post is the destination of traffic um, is going from this post to this new location, which doesn't exist. So let's delete this before it does any damage. Okay, so I got rid of that URL. So basically that's pretty straightforward. You wanna know where you're moving traffic from and to. So the old location, the new location, that's the principle of redirecting. And this is creating what's called 301 redirects, which are permanent redirects, which means something that has permanently moved. So the other option we wanna discuss here is what's called the HT access file, or it's actually a full stop and then the HT access file. And this gets a little bit tricky because you need to go into your file system of your server, whether it's using FTP or control panel or whatever it is you're using. 
And I just want to show you a post I found here which gives a quick rundown of this so we don't have to try and do this in real life because it's I don't generally do this so it would take me a while to set this up. But basically what we're looking at is you first want to go into your control panel for example and go to the file manager which is shown in this picture and then when you open the file manager if you're using the control panel you want to be careful that you tick the show hidden files option before you go any further because the dot in front of the HT access file turns it into a hidden file and by default that will not be shown in your control panel so if you've not tick this and you've opened it before and you can't see the hidden files they'll be in the main directory of WordPress of your website so wherever that is usually it's where you land when you first log in or you can choose it in this drop down here where it says the document root that is the default location for a particular .com website so if you have a number of websites on your hosting you can choose the one you want to find the HT access file for and then you click go and then you get this list of files in the main directory of your website and usually it's at the top you'll have one called FTP quota which is when you've been doing FTPing and you usually have another dot one called dot HT access that is the one you are looking for if you're struggling to find this and you need to find this on your file system and you can't contact your hosting company so I'm assuming you've got this, you've opened it, you're editing it, and then what you see generally is something like this. So I've got a bunch of sort of garbage above here. Normally what you're going to see if you've just got a default WordPress installation is this stuff in blue here. WordPress copies this into your HT access file when you install WordPress and this makes sure WordPress functions correctly. So don't touch this, don't delete it. Start putting your redirects below this last comment here where it says end WordPress. That's usually the safest option. So what you want to do is pretty much the same thing as the redirect plugin, but instead you need to type in redirect with a capital R space 301 space and then again the two URLs that you're working with the old one and the new one the old one goes first then you do a space then you do the new one so I've just written in here from and to just to give you an idea of what we're talking about and old and new it's pretty straightforward so I really recommend that if you do this save the file, make sure it's on your system, and then go and check the old URL, type it in, and make sure that the system, the server, sends you to the new address, and that you haven't broken anything. Because if you've done a typo or something, it won't work. So whenever you do one of these, especially by hand, or even using the plugin, go and check it afterwards, please. Otherwise, you could break something and not know about it for weeks or months afterwards. So reasons you might want to do this, as I've said, you might have 404s, broken pages, broken links. You may have people linking to you that are linking to the wrong address. I've often done that too. I've noticed in uh, Google Webmaster Tools that people are linking to the wrong place. They've misspelled something. And then I redirect to the correct location or I delete old posts I don't want anymore. Then I redirect to the home page or the blog page or something could be broken, missing redirects are something that you will use over the life of your website and knowing these two tricks is really 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 powerful if you've enjoyed this video i'd really love it if you'd subscribe down below and like and comment if you've got anything to say or check out the other videos i spend time creating this stuff for you guys and the only feedback i get is an increase in subscribers and comments and likes so i really appreciate that and check out the other videos and i'll see you next time